Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Joppy Noodle Legs here again. Um, just a short video today, but I'm doing something I have never done before, and that is rehouse a, my, my baby, my sling. Now, I don't have many slings, I do, I've got a, I've got a sling now of, uh, I've got the, obviously the H. David Bowie, I've got a couple of overgrown slings, uh, my P. Regardless, my H. Pog Peas, my T. Vagan, they're all overgrown slings. So this is my little baby. Now, I've had this now, oh, about, it, I, it was a freebie that I got with my um, uh, Brazilian white knee. So I got it just before Christmas. Uh, it's molted out twice since I've had it. Um, it is a Gramostola polka piece sling. She's molted twice and I think now she deserves a little rehouse because although this is quite good and it'll be in there for, it could last another molt or two. But you know what I'm like. Oh, I love to give my spiders a little bit of a, a um a bigger environment for them so she is in there or he um i'm not going to dig it out just yet but i want to just have a little look see if we can see it so you guys can see the size of the spider it's not too big uh and she's down in the hide there to be honest I don't know if I can get you guys over to have a little look in there. But she, I believe, is down in there. Can just make out a little bum bum. Um, yeah, so I thought I'm going to try and upgrade it today to a bigger enclosure. And what I've got for it is um, one of these Exoterra Minis. Now, I've got my T-Vagan in there. Um, and it seems to be doing really well. This one loves to go out and about. She's about all the time, sort of like around her enclosure. So I thought, well, this will be a good upgrade. If I put it there, and we can see it close to the other pot. Let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, so there's the old pot. And there's the new one. So it's not massively, massively different. But it's a big enough upgrade to give her a bit more, um, oh, maybe an inch and a half, maybe that much more space to sort of like explore. And also a bit more space to burrow down. So what we're going to do first before we catch the baby up, we will just set up the enclosure. So let's do that now. Right, so here we are. Got the enclosure. So what I'm going to do, obviously, first of all, is put some substrate in the bottom for it dig down a bit because it's dried out a little bit on the top because of the warm weather but that's not an issue because I can put some substrate in there nice bit of deep substrate I'm going to put a bit of water in there guys just to give that lubricate it a little bit don't want it soaking but I want it to have a little bit of moisture in the substrate because it's a little sling now the Gramostone of Polka Peas when it does sort of grow a bit larger, but it does prefer a drier environment, you know. So uh, I think that's quite enough substrate. Got some little bits of cork bark. Try and create a little hide for uh, the baby. Give me a minute, guys. It's going to try and create one here. Seems to like corners, this one. Uh, so I'm going to come down here. Sort of start a burrow for her or he. It's way too young to do any sort of form of sexing on this one. Let's pop that on there. It's going to be quite a simple little setup, guys, because I don't want it to be overcrowded in there for it. Might give it a bit of um bark there as well. It's got an option to burrow there if it wants to. Of course. I put little water bowls in. I've got these little um, these little ink pots, tattoo ink pots. I'm going to pop one in there. There we go. Can't get any dirt in it. Put some water in there. 
There we go. Gonna put a bit of um, spagla moss in there. Got a nice bit of spagla moss. Again, don't want it too much. Just want some in there just to keep a bit of moisture in. Quite nice. I'll put some on there. Now I've got some fake planted as well. So I'm going to pop one or two of these in. Again, just gives it that little bit of coloration. A little bit different if the, if the spider wants to hide um, somewhere else. You know, it's got somewhere else to go. Let's see if I've got a, another little piece. So again, it does tend to dig and it won't dig out the back of the uh, um, hide. So I might not put anything there. That's quite nice, isn't it? Really, it's a bit more. I'm gonna put a bit more moss just over this. Yeah, that's quite a cute little enclosure, to be honest. I'll give you guys a little look. So that's quite cute, isn't it? I mean, got plenty of space to move about. Um, plenty of space to dig. Um, I've given it a good few a few inches there of um substrate doesn't really need too much more i mean yeah i suppose i could build up the back slightly more so we can do that if we take the water pot out and just put a little bit more substrate in at the back here just to build it up at the back just a bit more and it's just got like that bit more Space to move about. Now I can pop my little water pot back in. There we go. That's quite nice. So that's giving it a bit more height at the back, as you can see, so it can climb and burrow and do whatever it likes. So what we need to do now, guys, I think that's quite a good, nice little setup. So we're not going to overdo it. Don't need to overdo it, do we? I'll give some water on the. Uh, moss there just to give that a bit of a watering down yeah that's a nice little setup to be honest so what we need to do now is sort of catch the, the little guy and put them in uh, I might try and see if I can put a bit more plant in there let me have a little think I said I don't want to overcrowd it but I, I do like it to be uh, sort of pleasing on the eye as well as like for the, uh, the the sort of spider plenty of space to move about on um let me see if this goes anywhere like down there just gives it places to hide and i like it having an open space as well anyway so let's try and catch the little spider up okay right so here we are again as you know i do everything as safe as i can guys uh, for the spider to be honest so I'm gonna be a bit quiet maybe you might see me being a little bit quiet I can only apologize for that but I want this spider to have a, a safe rehousing uh, and then hopefully we can get a little look at it this is still a nice little setup but you know it's sort of outgrowing it a little bit so let's take out some of the objects and I'm gonna have to remove a bit of substrate there we go and you can probably see now the sling down there so what we need to do is try and encourage it into like a little catch cup come on my baby come on sweetheart Just waking it up slightly, guys, because don't want to be uh, frightening it. There we go. Come on, sweetheart. Now, I'm going to put the catch cup in front of him and try and encourage the little baby to walk in. Straight in there. And you can see, that is not a bad little size, to be honest. So this new home 
it's going to be glorious for it so what we're going to do guys is move the new home over now we're going to encourage the baby to come out okay hopefully without it bolting out now i'm going to try and get it so you guys can see a little something anyway i'm going to go in with me brush guys i'm going to try and go above the spider and sort of edge him out come on baby come on baby come on got a beautiful new home here for you oops <laughs> well, there you go see that size there is perfect for that spider it's got lots of room to sort of like hide and dig itself perfect trying to dig itself down into the ground there which I kind of don't want him to do he's got a little hide if he this sort of goes down this way he's gone underneath the uh, uh underneath the um the moss there let's have a little look so that went quite well didn't it guys it sort of like moved in quite easily uh quite happy with that to be honest so we got all the reflection on the uh on the uh, camera there guys sorry about all that there we go don't know if turning that off will help not really but it's hiding now but hey it's moved now to a nice little home so what we're gonna do keep the spider safe put his little lid on it there we go so what I'm going to do now guys is get myself comfortable and we'll try and have a little look at this spider. This, as I said, this is the Gramstola Polka Peas. This was a, a sling from Andy from So Many Legs. As you may remember, I had one that passed away um, that was taken ill and uh, was all upset about it, including Andy, obviously. Uh, so he sent me this little baby until he had some other decent size ones in. There it is there. So that went quite well. It's a nice little setup. I think it's a nice size to be honest. I've double checked the size of the spider and the hole. So when you do have slings guys. Please always be weary of the size of the air holes. Now this spider will not be able to get through those air holes as you can see. Look how thick they are and look at the thick of the abdomen of the spider. So he's not going to be able to get out. So, But it's got a lovely, lovely little home. Anyway, before we leave the video, I'd like to thank a few people, as I always do. Mark the Spider Guy, Spider Mum 1978, Peter Webster, Unseen Universe, Incredible Inverts and Other Animals, Eight Legs, Four Wheels, Tea in the Deep Blue Sea, Reptile Renovations, RS Designs, Tarantula Tastic Enclosures, Tom's Big Spiders, beautiful little thing it is a beautiful sling and it's very quite active it does like exploring really really does it's a beautiful beautiful spider yeah channels check all those channels out guys they're fantastic unusual pets ellie's bug babies fantastic channels please check them all out and i'm sorry if i've if i have left you out uh on the shout out you know what i'm like i will always remember you at some point and give you a little shout out I think this little guy could be in pre-malt, <laughs> which would be cool, because as you know, when I've done rehousings before, it's actually helped them, and they've actually malted out. <laughs> so let's see if that happens with this little guy. Anyway, guys, until next time, look after yourselves, look after one another, and I really hope I'll see you all soon.